This unit is our inlet stabilizer, our J model. This one is used for applications where you have suction lift and um, very low inlet pressures. Pressures up to no more than 30 psi. The uh, inlet pressures, when you have suction lift on the inlet of your pump, what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep the fluid flow to the pump if you've got suction lift, and then also be able to capture any type of shock that might occur on the inlet of your pump, whether it be an air-operated di diaphragm pump, any type of reciprocating pump that has start and stop motion on the inlet of their, of their pump. This unit for suction lift can be used in two, two different manners. You have the suction lift where what we're going to do is we're going to start this system up and we will allow the, the fluid to flow to the pump to get your, your pump primed essentially. And then what we'll do is we'll apply some air pressure and create a vacuum with this Venturi valve. The Venturi is going to create a lower pressure and what it does is it will draw the bladder up inside this unit and while doing so it's also going to drag the fluid up inside it as well. This creates a reservoir for the pump to be able to draw from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply pressure to this. This is going, you'll notice on the gauge here, it's going to start to create a vacuum. What you do is you get it to a certain point and then you close the valve, this ball valve, and it will seal, up, seal it off. You need to check it once a month just to make sure that you still have that and then it'll allow you to um, continue to keep a reservoir for the pump to draw from on suction lift. On high inlet pressures, you want to do the opposite. You're going to create a little bit of pressure in this unit. Um, in this case, you're going to be using 50% of whatever your inlet pressure is. So if you have a few feet of head, um, it's going to be very, very little. Now the way you do this is you open the valve and then you apply pressure. But then what you're going to do is you're going to cover the Venturi valve with your finger and just allow just enough pressure in to create 50% of whatever your inlet pressure is. So as you watch, watch. There you go, you've got 50%, assuming that's where it is, and you can adjust it off, and 50% uh, of your inlet pressure, and that will then allow a little shock absorber on the inlet side of your pump, so that every time the balls close or seat on the inlet side of your pump, that will create that um, cushion for the pulsation or the inlet shock is what it's going to do. There'll be a surge on the inlet of your pump and uh, will take those inlet pressure shock shocks out of your system.